Hello and welcome back to Attingham Park. Happy Halloween. Now, uh, last episode, I asked you what you thought I should do about the farm itself. Whether we should be doing cows or whether we should be doing... Um, sell, selling up everything and going and moving over to the pig farm. And I... I have been literally inundated with a comment and the comment said pigs and that was my feeling too so in this episode we're going to be moving over to the other farm now to make things easier what I'm going to do is I'm going to add a million pounds into our account I'm going to buy the other farm. We're going to move everything over. So the other farm is 412,000. Actually, not too bad. We're going to buy that. We're going to move everything over. Sell our current farm. And pay the million pounds back again. So. Actually, let's have a look at what fields I've inherited with that. So we've got one here that is barley. And one which is cultivated, ready to seed. Not bad. Not bad at all. So. I am going to uh, rent a lorry. Because we need to move all those potatoes over. Let's have a look actually. What is the best trailer to move all the potatoes with? Now, I have got some specific potato trailers. That oh, one's 75,000. Uh, the specific potato trailers, I don't think, are that big. No, they're not. Can I put, tra can I put trailers? Put trailers. Potatoes in that one. No, I can't. It's a grain trailer. That one can take potatoes. Um... Uh, that one is that one bigger. Yes. So let's go for the lorry trailer then. We shall lease that. And we will need a tractor for it. Hmm. All these seem to be about 500 horsepower, which is ideal. Let's lease this one. Right then. I'm going to concentrate on getting everything moved. And then you can join me. Once we're over there. Ooh, you'll keep the, the clothes off. But yeah, so we are going to be, unfortunately, going to be wasting this crop. Moving over to the pig farm. But, that is life. I am extremely excited to start looking after pigs. And I'm under no illusion that the pigs are going to give me anything other than meat, really. So we are going to have, <coughs> excuse me, we are going to have pigs or slurry, and we're going to have have um, when they've matured, we'll be selling them. So we'll be getting a livestock trailer so that we can transport them, and as they reproduce um, and grow, we'll be selling the pigs, and that I think will make us the money. Anyway, like I said, let's pop over to the other farm, just so we can have a little bit of a quick tour. So, this is the entrance to the farm here, but 
also, this is my house. Bit of a downgrade in house. Um, but yes, this is Malt House Farm that we now own. So this is where we'll be moving into. Horses go into this paddock here. Ooh, dodgy fence. Uh, horses go into this paddock here and into that stable there. They've got then a big feed hall. We can keep all the feed in here and this is where they get fed, which is convenient. Some machine sheds here. Petrol, a diesel tank there. I'll be moving all the diesel over. Another machine shed here. Oh, that would be useful for things like the potatoes. Hmm. Maybe put a silage pit around here somewhere. Here's the pig pen. Which is perfect. Slurry tank. Now that field's not mine. Maybe a field that we can expand to at some point. But if we take a look here. Yeah, so that field that wraps around the farm here, that is not mine. However, that little one over there with the barley in it, that is mine. And that huge one over there is also mine. So. That's exciting. Lots of stones in it though. But hey, that's okay. So we're going to have to have a, a think about what crop we put into this field. And uh, uh, also another thing about um, the other stuff that we need to get around the farm in order to feed pigs and things like the, um, the, the grain mill and a tractor that powers the grain mill because that needs 300 horsepower I think. Uh, initially, that's probably not something that we need to, to worry about. So in order to feed the pigs, there are, there are four different feed types. There's the concentrate, which is either CCM, grain grist, mineral feed or beet pellets. We're going to have to be buying that to start with, whatever that is. The protein food, so soya beans, canola or brewer's grain silage, brewer's grain. Energy food, wheat, uh, beet pulp, maize, or sorghum. Or moisture food, which is cut potatoes. And we're going to have plenty of potatoes, so that's fine. Sugar beet cut, carrots, f or fresh maize. From a forage harvester. So yeah, we've got our work cut out. But now, I'm going to start moving everything over. And we are going to catch up when that is done. I'll see you in a second.
Okay, so this is uh, the last trip with assorted items, and then there's only the bulk goods trailer to come back for, and that's it. The um, the fence is on the way with the slurry, well the slurry tank, which is full. There's only a tiny dribble left in the uh, in the tank on the farm, so we'll leave that. Uh, so yeah, yeah, we'll, we'll um, take all this back. I'm gonna get the bulk goods trailer. And then we will see how much we can get for the old farm. And you can have a, a quick tour of the new farm. And then next time we're going to get stuck into pig farming. It's a beautiful sunset here at Malthouse Farm. And most of the equipment is, is over here. I've got this trailer to unload. The voucher is on its way back with the um, the bulk goods trailer. I've got most of my um, all my grass equipment work over here. There's the tether, the um, windrower. It's getting a bit dark, I'm afraid. Uh, the baler and the and the mowers. Then there's the uh, the other uh, plow and the spreader. I've managed to get all the hay bales and the whole crop silage bales into here because the horses will love those. Um, the bale loaders in that, that shed over there. Oh, and then we've got the pile of potatoes in this shed over here. That'll last us quite a while, I think. It's, uh, yeah... The farm's not exactly filled with equipment, but um, it's looking good. Anyway, I'm going to crack on getting the rest of the equipment into place. And we'll go sort Elizabeth out, who appears to be blocked by an object. And um, yeah, thank you so much for watching. And join us as we start our new life as a pig farmer. Oh, I almost forgot. So... We need to sell the farmland over here, and we need to return a million pounds into the bank balance, and it is going to leave us with not a lot at all. But that's the rules of the game. At least we're left with 32,000. Oh, that's the wrong page. There we go. So we have 32,440 remaining. Which is... <clears throat> not a lot. Not a lot at all. But we're going to get tomorrow... Or... Not tomorrow, but the next episode. We're going to get ourselves a couple of ponies. We've got most of the stuff we need to feed the ponies. Yeah, so pon ponies are slightly different. They've got uh, the base food, which is uh, which we can use the whole crop silage for. We've got the roughage, which we can use the hay for. The moisture food, which is either fresh grass or carrots. Now, we can cut fresh grass. That's not a problem. I will have to get a baler that's not going to wrap it, though. Or a, a small forage wagon or something. And then... Um, We've got mineral feed as well. We'll need to get some mineral feed. But if we ride the ponies every day and we keep them clean, they will go up in value quite quickly. So I am quite excited about that. That should bring us in enough money. Now, I've also had a suggestion from a, a, another comment um, since I started recording this, that if we're going to do pigs, we should invest in the meat farming um uh, mod, which is a meat farming factory, which I think is a fantastic idea, and I'm definitely going to look into it. That is definitely something that I think we could do. But there's a long way to go before we can um, we can sort pigs out because they uh, they need a lot more 
specialised food than the ponies. So yeah, it's all go. Looking forward to the next one. Thank you so much for watching, and I'll see you again soon. Bye for now.